Mary, how do you do? Nice to meet you. And of course, Mom. Hello, my hateful shrew. <laughs> Hello to you, you wrinkled old bastard. <laughs> hey, I just got an email from the U.S. Air Force. <laughs> Afraid if I respond, then they'll know I got it. Oh, dude, the minute you opened that email, they knew you got it. I mean, they're probably looking at you through the camera right now. <laughs> oh, God. I think someone's following us. Don't left here and see if he turns with us. Why is he turning here? The restaurant's the other way. I don't know. He uses that traffic app. Maybe there's an accident. Oh, so follow him. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Leonard, if you don't mind, I think I'm a little tired. I'm gonna call it a night. Sure, Dad. I'm a little tuckered out myself, so I will see you all in the morning. Would you like to share a cat? That would be fine. Where are you staying? I'm at the Westin. Well, so am I. Could I interest you in a nightcap? I think that you could. <laughs> Leonard. What? You realize you and I could become brothers. We're not going to be brothers. We're not going to be stepbrothers. Go to sleep. I hope you're right. Because a grown man living with his brother and his brother's wife is weird. <laughs> Go to sleep. Okay. You think your father's doing unspeakable things to my mother? <laughs> no. Are you saying that because the things are unspeakable? Anything unspeakable was finished by 9.30. Go to sleep. Do yourself a favor, all right? When Beverly gets here, do not bring up last night, all right? As far as you're concerned, you don't know anything. You didn't see anything. I want you just to play dumb. It was nice of her to show us playing dumb with an example. What? Oh. Hi. Okay, hey there. I got, I'm sorry, I gotta go now. Anyway. Why? <laughs> I wanted to thank you for going through all the trouble of planning a second wedding ceremony for me. But unfortunately, I cannot attend. Why? What's wrong? Well, were we still doing the dumb thing? Okay, why? What's wrong? I just cannot stay here while your father goes out of his way to humiliate me. Oh, golly, however did he humiliate you? Stop it, Sheldon. Good, good. Good. I'm good, too. Good. <laughs> So did you defile my mother or not? Shit. You're being rude. Look, if I may, I can assure you, your mother and I did nothing more than share a cab and a conversation. Did that conversation include the phrase, your genitals are a joy to behold? <laughs> Look, I promise you, neither I nor anyone has ever said that. I'm sorry you're in the middle of this. No, no, nothing to be sorry about. I genuinely like your father. What? Oh, but he's a mediocre academic. And according to Beverly, his sexual prowess is subpar. <laughs> he's basically Leonard with a bigger prostate. Are you saying that my dad's not good enough for your mom? Yes, while also getting in a solid dig at you. Pretty efficient, huh? <laughs> Even, this is ridiculous. I, I'm going across the hall. Well, why should you get to go and leave me here with your bickering parents? Fine, then you go. Well, I don't want to stay here with her. I'll go. I'll go with you. That still leaves me here with him. Hang on, hang on. We're smart. We can figure this out. Love is patient, but it's not going to put up with all the side chatter, so let's knock it off. <laughs> at least she's yelling at someone else for a change. Howard! 